let's do this. I'm Katie, this is Stretch and Flow. Thank you as always for being here. Go ahead, take off your socks and shoes, grab your mat if you have one. If not, just make your way down onto the floor. Big toes will draw together, knees will go out nice and wide as we send our hips back to our heels. We'll reach those arms forward with the palms down. Bring your forehead toward the floor. And let's just breathe here together. Deep breaths in through your nose. Long breaths out through your nose. Yeah, just kind of settle in here. Take that little self inventory. How are you feeling? What do you need today? What do you have going on? Kind of let yourself notice what's going on. You know, sometimes we're just like, yeah, my shoulder doesn't feel great today. I'm gonna avoid that. No, breathe into it, focus on it, give it some love and attention. And then we move on. Good, your next inhale, I want you to try to fill up the back of your rib cage. Go ahead, breathe in. And exhale, let go of some tension. Good, deep breath in. Think of breathing side to side. And exhale, let it go. Good, deep breath in. Reach those fingertips forward just a little bit more. And then exhale, press your hands down into the floor. Good, one more breath in. Sink those hips back toward your heels just a little bit closer. And exhale, relax. Good, let's just add on to this with our side bends. Whenever you're ready, wiggle your fingers, shake out your hands, and then go ahead and walk your hands all the way over toward the right side of the room and press those palms down into the floor. You can cross that left wrist over the right if you want to go a little bit deeper. Okay, deep breath in. And exhale, walk those hands over to the left. Crisscross at the wrist if you want, really driving the hands down into the floor. Breathing into that right side of your body. Perfect, and go ahead, reach it forward. Sink back in, hands reaching forward, hips reaching back. Just one more breath here. Good, and exhale, gently shake your head No, Very small little rock side to side, like you are slowly imprinting your forehead into the mat. Good, and you can keep rocking this out here. If you want or need to stretch out the back of your neck, I want you to come with me. If you have a ponytail on top of your head, you're gonna wanna adjust that. I'm gonna take this out for now. So we're gonna inhale together. And then as you exhale, lift your hips up, tuck your chin and kind of roll toward the crown of your head. We're going for like a stretch, not pain. If this is like crazy painful, I need you to back off. Good, and then just exhale, lower it back down. Hips back to heels, forehead on the floor. Okay, take a moment. I know that was weird if you've never done that one, but it feels so good on the very top of your spine there. We hold so much tension there. So let's try it again. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin, rolling forward toward the crown of your head. Your hips will lift up here. Let it happen. Good. And exhale, drop it down. Let it go. And if you still have a ponytail that's driving you crazy, just let it go, move it. <laughs> Deep inhale. And exhale, roll it forward, tuck your chin like you could do a somersault, but you're not going to. And then lower down. Ah. Gently find that little rock again, side to side. Very slow, very small. Perfect, and rest your head in the middle. Deep breath in, long breath out. 
from here, we're gonna stay here and thread our needle. So take your right hand, kind of reach it right underneath your left bicep. Perfect. And just reach that right hand out toward the side. Left hand is reaching, reaching forward toward the front of the room. And I want you to press that left hand down into the floor. You're looking toward the right hand. And I have a new option for you guys for this one today. So you can stay right here if this is working really well for you and you're like, no, this is my new happy place. Stay right here. If you want to try, I want you to take that left hand, grab onto your right wrist, and just kind of pull it gently toward that left side of the room. So you're kind of forcing it to reach a little bit farther and you're going to feel this all the way into like the inside of that shoulder blade. Good. Breathe one more time. And then exhale, let it go. Take that left hand under your left shoulder. Good, press yourself up just so we can switch sides. So left arm, thread it underneath the right. Left temple coming down toward the floor. Right arm reaches straight out. Left arm is reaching out toward that right side. And I shouldn't say this out loud, but I don't think I've mixed up our rights and lefts yet. There's been a lot of them. <laughs> but it's still very, very early as you know. All right, stay right here if this is working really well for you. If you wanna go a little bit further with me, take that right hand to your left wrist, add that little pull, 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 pull. Good, make sure you're dropping your shoulder away from your earlobe. You're not trying to like rip your arm out of the socket. We're just lengthening and pulling very gently. Perfect, and exhale, release. Right hand under that right shoulder go ahead press yourself up into your tabletop I know do your arms feel amazing right now mine too <laughs> hands under shoulders knees under hips back is nice and flat we have some awareness in the core here just to support the back from here reach your right arm forward we're still looking straight down so it's like you're awkwardly shaking someone's hand perfect and I want you to sweep that right hand back behind you so trying to get your pinky parallel to the ceiling and then reach it forward again. So we're just kind of sweeping forward and back. Perfect. So heating up that shoulder blade, that rotator cuff, just a little bit more. Perfect, reach it forward. Now see if you can draw a nice big circle all the way up and around something similar to a circle. It might be more of like an oval and that's okay. Or like the first circle you ever tried to draw it might be more like that. Okay, give me one more of those nice big circle up and around and lower that hand back down and we'll take the other side. Left arm, reach it forward. We're looking down, keep that awareness of your core. Thumb up and we just take the bottom half of that circle to start. So reach it back and front. Good. Shoulders might feel a little fatigued here. They're gonna get nice and toasty and that just makes it better to stretch them. Good, awareness stays in your core. Reach forward and back. And let's reach forward and all the way up and around. Your chest will open to the side here just a little bit. Don't worry about it. You have a soft bend in that right elbow. And I gotta say, I do not like this side as much as the first side. But that's okay. <laughs> We're just gonna keep doing it. And one more. Perfect. Both hands directly below the shoulders. Deep inhale. Exhale, let's find that cat pose. Round your back, tuck your chin, separate those shoulder blades. And inhale, arch the back, look up into that cow. Good shoulders, stay away from your ears. Let's go again, round the back, tuck the chin, just make sure you're breathing. Arch the back, look up. Perfect, round in the spine. Arch in the back. Good, and one more round. And arch. Good, flatten out that back, find the neutral spine. Inhale, curl the toes under. Exhale, hips up and back. 
Down dog, let's pedal it out when we get there. Hips are up high. Spread out those fingers, press into your palms. Tuck your chin, we're looking just between the knees here. Good, drive both heels down, inhale. Exhale, take your right foot, cross it up and over your left ankle for me, and then drive that left heel down to the floor, lengthening out that calf muscle just a little bit more. Perfect, switch that out when you're ready. Good, left over right, drive that right heel down, down, down. No tension in the shoulders. Good, both feet down. Inhale, give me a big bend in your knees. Exhale, step those feet up to your hands. When you get there, stay there. Lengthening into that forward fold. Give me a bend in your right knee. So your right knee is bent, left leg is straight. Switch that out, bend the left knee, right leg is straight. Big bend in both knees, round your back. Slowly roll it on up to standing. Remember, your head always comes up last, and I want your eyes open on those. Just make sure you don't get dizzy. From here, let's roll those shoulders back just a few times. Connect to your breath. If you took your ponytail out like I did for that next stretch, go ahead and fix it. <laughs> Good, opening up the chest, wiggling the fingers. Good, shoulders, scrunch them up toward your ears. Perfect, now send them back toward the wall behind you. Rotate your palms forward. Now reach your fingers toward the floor, drop the shoulders away from your ears as much as you can. Perfect, let's take two sun salutations, top of your mat. Inhale, reach those arms up, up, up. Maybe a little arch in the back. Maybe we look between those hands or maybe not. Exhale, forward fold, right back into it. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Feel that spine decompressing. Good, and inhale, hands to shins or thighs. Flatten out that back for me. Good, nice half lift and release. Bend your knees, plant the hands on the floor, step back to that high plank, draw your belly button in, hands right under the shoulders. On your knees or your toes, let's chaturanga, lower everything down together. Good, and sweep it through cobra, hold here for me. Pressing up and out of those shoulders, bending the elbows if this is super uncomfortable on the back. Check in, are you breathing? I am breathing, Katie, thanks for reminding me. Oh, you're welcome. It's gonna be really awkward when I'm teaching in person again and I do that. <laughs> the girl just talks to herself. Curl your toes under, hips up and back and walk it out. A reminder, if you ever need to take a break, or if you just wanna take a break, you can just head right back to that child's pose where we started and then jump back in whenever you're ready. Drive both heels down, lengthen out, inhale. And exhale, step feet to hands, find that half lift again. So we are lifting up halfway, release. Bend your knees around your back, roll it up. Full disclosure, I spent my entire first yoga class that I ever took a very long time ago, thinking the instructor was saying calf lift, lifting up my calves, I don't know. So it's a half lift if you are thinking the same way that I was thinking. We're gonna do that sun salutation again. Go ahead, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And release, lower down. Bend the knees, step or hop it back into that plank. On your knees or your toes, chat around the high, I don't know. Sweep through, cobra, baby cobra. If you need to keep those elbows all the way down on the floor, that's always an option too. And let's find that down dog, pedal it out. Good, pressing evenly into your hands. Move through, nice little warrior series. And not really a little series. We're gonna actually do quite a bit on the right side <laughs> before we switch. Go ahead, take that right leg up and back, single leg dog. 
and we'll circle out the ankle while we're here. Just draw a couple circles one direction and a couple in the other direction, lengthening out through the toes. Perfect. Bend the knees, stay here. Just feel that little hip opener. And then when you're ready, sweep that right foot through just between the hands. We're gonna keep the back heel up here. When you're ready, rise up into that high lunge or that crescent lunge. Shoulders are down, hips are forward. Knee tracking toward the middle of your foot. Another fun fact, this used to be one of my least favorite moves. Now I love it because my hips are so tight. <laughs> that was felt really nice in that hip flexor. Good knee right on top of that ankle. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Good job. Let's breathe in again together. As we exhale, let's open this up into a warrior two. So your back foot rotates out, that heel drops down. We're still sinking into that right leg and gazing over that right hand. Good, reaching arms out wide. Good, flip your front palm over for me. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior, just because it's so nice. Back hand is resting on the back leg or it's scooping around your back toward that opposite hip crease. Our back is arched, but we're still breathing. Inhale, exhale, right back into our warrior two. Perfect. Hands are gonna come to your hips just for a second. Right foot, turn it in so your feet are parallel. Perfect, inhale. Exhale, bowing forward just until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. So we're probably about half-ish way down, maybe a little bit higher. Your back is nice and flat. You're lengthening through the crown of your head. Take the tiniest shift forward toward the ball of your foot and then back toward your heel. So not so much that you're like, eh, I might fall over. Keep it smaller than that. Very subtle shift in the weight. Good, and then find it right in the middle of your foot. Inhale, exhale, round it over, reach for the floor. Again, we relax the head, the neck, the shoulders, the upper back. Perfect, you can keep as much of a bend in your knees here as you want or need. Good. Take those arms, reach it over toward your right leg. Give that leg a hug. Perfect. So you're pulling your chest toward the thigh or the knee. You're reaching for the toes, the outside of that leg, whatever you can hold on to. Inhale. Exhale, sweep it over to the left. Perfect. Relax your shoulders. We're not gripping anything. We're not pulling on anything. We're just kind of holding. Increasing that stretch in the back of the leg. Perfect, meet me back in the middle. From here, big bend in your knees. You're gonna turn your toes back toward the top of your mat and you're gonna walk your hands that way as well. From here, we wiggle that back foot back a little bit more. Line up your knee right above that ankle. Sink straight down, low lunge. From here, one of my favorites, we shift forward and we shift back. Again, it's a very subtle shift in the weight. Your knee is not passing your ankle. Good, that heel is staying on the floor. Good, tuck your chin slightly, breathe. Perfect, shift it back, hold it, press your hips straight down. Hands come to the inside of that foot. Let's go ahead, drop your back knee. And we're gonna shift our weight to the outer blade of that right foot. So if you want, your hand can come on top of that thigh, just kind of opening up that hip. If you feel really good here, you can keep both hands on the floor. You can even lower down to your forearms if that works for you. But make sure we're just kind of shifting the weight, opening up the hip, kind of dropping that right knee toward the right side of the room. We're not like breaking your ankle here. So if there's a ton of tension in your foot or your ankle, just bring it back in a little bit.
Good, up on your hands if you're not there already. Flatten out that right foot. Keep your back knee on the floor. We're gonna inhale. Try to curl your left heel in toward your left glute. Perfect, and then if you want to, take your right hand, reach up and around. Try to grab onto your foot, your pant leg, your toes, anything you can hold onto, and then breathe straight into that left hip. Good, deep breath in. Long breath out. And we release it. Lower that foot back down to the floor. Lift your back knee up and step back into your down dog. We get to do all of that on the other side, but first shake it out. Walk out the heels, bending one knee, driving the opposite heel down to the floor. Maybe. When you're ready, left leg, single leg dog, kick it up and back. Draw a few circles with that foot. Perfect, circle the other way. Even out the shoulders. Lengthen through those toes. Now bend your knee and sweep that foot through to the top of your mat. V an ankle straight line. We keep the back heel up for now. Come on up. High lunge, shoulders down. Sink into those hips. Relax your face. You're doing great. Friendly reminder, you have an open invitation to take your time. You don't have to stay with me the whole time. If you need to spend more time in one stretch, do it. No big deal. Perfect, try to tuck those hips forward just a little bit more. Keep an eye on that left knee, especially for me. My left knee like loves to go rogue on me. Cave in, cave out, do everything except for what it's supposed to do. So just keep an eye, make sure it's headed toward the middle of your foot. Inhale. Exhale, let's open this up. Warrior two, back foot turns out. Back heel is now down. Knee is still tracking in the same direction. We're gazing over that left hand. Think in, you're doing great. Flip that palm over, inhale. Exhale, up and over, reverse warrior. Right hand resting on the right leg or it's tucking through toward that left hip. Perfect, exhale back to your warrior two. Perfect. Straighten that front leg, hands to hips. You're gonna turn that left foot in so it's in line with the right. Stand up tall, inhale. Exhale, hinging forward, long spine stopping as soon as you feel that stretch in your hamstring. Good, looking down at the floor. Deep inhale. And exhale, reach for the floor, fold into it. You can round the back, release everything. <sighs> yeah, give me a little bend in your knees. I want you to take that right hand to the center of your mat, like right under your face. And then when you're ready, we're gonna add that twist. Left arm reaches up toward the ceiling, but the left hip, we're pressing down, trying to keep both hips nice and even. Good, reaching, reaching up through those fingertips. We inhale, we exhale, lower it down. Take that left hand, keep it on the floor. Right arm twist reaches up, take your time. Right hip rotates down. Perfect, carefully, gently release that, folding back into that hinge, we inhale. Exhale, bending both knees, we're gonna turn all of the toes toward the top of the mat, hands walk that way as well. Back heel, rotate straight up. You might need to shift the weight back a little bit. Find that low lunge, sink in here just for a couple breaths. Good, and then once you're ready, add that teeny tiny little shift forward and back. Again, it doesn't have to be a huge range of motion. So you're shifting the weight forward and then as you shift back, press into that right heel.
Good, press back and hold it. Hips press straight down. Hands walk to the inside of that foot. You can stay here. You can lower down to forearms. You guys know really, you can do whatever you want. Just keep your core engaged and your shoulders down. You're good to go. Wherever you are, lower that back knee down to the floor. Untuck those toes. And then we'll shift the weight toward that outer blade of the left foot, letting the knee drop out to the left side of the room. Reminder, stay up higher. Left hand to the top of that left thigh if you want a little bit of support right there. And again, friendly reminder, we're not breaking your ankle here. We're just shifting the weight. Bring it in a little bit if that's uncomfortable on the foot or the ankle. Okay, go ahead, flatten that foot out. Everybody's up on those hands. From here, we'll draw that right heel in toward the glutes. Good. Again, keep it here if you need to. You don't have to reach for it. But if you want to, left arm reaches up and over for your toes, your foot, your ankle, your pant leg. Relax your face. Deep breath in. Long breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Long breath out. And release. Lift that back knee up for me. Inhale. Exhale, down dog, great job. Good, drive both heels down to the mat. Notice how much closer you are compared to when we started. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and lower them all the way down toward the mat. Stay here for me. Flip your palms over. So your palms are up, your fingers are facing you. And if you already feel a stretch in your forearms, stay here. If you need more, you're gonna shift your weight back. Good, and feel the top of your forearm and wrist kind of open up. Once again, I will remind you, discomfort is a yes, pain is a hard no. So anytime you feel pain, just know you've gone a little bit too far for that day. Perfect, shift the weight forward, release that. From here, I want you to rotate your hands so your fingers are facing your knees. And if you already feel this and it's enough, you got it, you stay right here. If you want more, you shift the weight back, opening up the insides of those forearms. Perfect, carefully release that. Unwind those hands, shake them out for me. This is nice and gentle. Good, and then go ahead, meet me in a seated position. Knees are bent, feet are planted on the floor. I want you to hug right behind your knees, kind of at your hamstrings. Start to kind of hinge back, give me a nice big round in the back. Hold here, lengthening out your spine. Good, now release just a little bit, hinge back a little bit farther. Release a little bit more, hinge back a little bit more. Good, and lower all the way down onto your back. From here, arms are out wide like a T. Knees are close together and bent, and just take a little rock side to side here for me. Perfect, pull the heels in a little bit closer to your glutes. Hands are gonna come down to your sides. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left thigh. Press that knee away from you. And if you want more, you're gonna thread the hands underneath that left thigh, hug it in figure four. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Perfect, carefully release that and we'll switch sides. Left ankle over right thigh. Press that left knee away from you. Stay here if this is enough. If you want more, reach underneath that right leg. Hug it in, figure four. Relax your face. Keep your head on the floor for me. Breathe in. 
in, breathe out. Both feet planted on the floor, knees are bent. Arms rest down at your sides with the palms straight up. I want you to take three deep breaths here. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Good. Think of your favorite smell. Breathe it in. Good. Now like you're blowing out a candle. And one more time. Breathe it in. Blow out those candles. Perfect. Feel free to stay here a little bit longer if you need to. If and when you're ready, you're gonna drop those knees all the way over to one side, roll it over, use those arms to press yourself up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Good, and when you get there, we'll take one more breath together to close out today. Inhale those arms up. Exhale your hands down to heart center. As always, it is an absolute honor to stretch with you all. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Great job today, guys. Thank you so, so much. Oh, yay. Thanks, Beth.